In this video, I'm going to be um, showing you how to do some conversions. We're going to be going from degrees, minutes, and seconds um, to a uh, decimal form. Okay, so um, in my first example here on the left, I'm going to be converting 31 degrees, 47 minutes, 12 seconds to a decimal in degrees. Okay, now to um, understand what we're doing or why we're doing the math that we're doing, it helps if you understand that one minute is equivalent to one sixtieth of a degree and one second is equivalent to one thirty six hundredth of a degree. All right, because these will be our conversion factors that we are going to be using when we do this conversion here. All right, now if I want to convert this to a decimal in degrees. My 31 degrees, all right, I know I have a full 31 degrees. I'm really concerned about the 47 minutes, 12 seconds here. All right, so the 31, I'm not going to have to do anything with that. All right, but I am going to have to add whatever the 47 minutes is and converting it into a decimal. All right, so because the one minute is 1 60th of a degree, I'm going to do 47 over 60. All right, and then I want to add to that whatever this 12 seconds turns out to be when I convert it to a decimal. So again, since one second is 1 36 hundredth of a degree, then it's going to be 12 over 36 hundred. Okay, so those are your two initial things. At this point, I would probably um, grab a calculator. You could do this all in one um, fell swoop left to right across on your calculator. Um, if you want to see it written out individually, the 31 stays 31. Converting this into a decimal is 0.783 and it is repeating. All right, and converting this fraction into a decimal, I get 0 0.003. Again, repeating, <clears throat> okay, but doing it all on your calculator, one great big answer here, you would have 31 point seven eight six repeating degrees. Um, and generally then we have um, or tell you to round to either like the tens, hundreds, or thousands, whatever it happens to be. Let's go out three places on this one, which would make it 31.787 degrees. Okay, so one quick example there showing you how to go from degrees, minutes, and seconds into a decimal that is in degrees. Okay, now common. Um, it's often common to then have to go backwards the other way. All right, let's say I've got some great big long decimal here in degrees, but I want to convert it into degrees, minutes, and seconds. I want to how many minutes and how many seconds I have. All right, so again, looking at a couple conversion factors here that's going to help us. One degree is equal to 60 minutes. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. All right, so those are going to be our two factors that we're going to do here. All right, now generally for this, I usually break it down into a two-step part because I want to take this fraction here, this, this 0.256, I want to convert it into minutes first, and then whatever decimal I have after that, then I want to convert that into seconds. All right, so um, let's break this up into a step one, step two. So there's step one. All right, so for step one, my 21, I know I have 21 degrees, so I don't have to do anything with that. All right, but I am going to add to that whatever this decimal turns out to be in minutes. So I'm going to take 0.256, that entire decimal, and multiply it by 60 minutes. Okay, again, you'll be using calculator there. Uh, 21 degrees plus, this turns out to be 15.8. 36 minutes. All right, so out of this, I got an entire 15 minutes, and then another portion here will then be my seconds. Okay, so now that I know that, I can now go to step two. All right, at this point now, I know I have 21 degrees, and I have 15 minutes. All right, now I need to find out what fractional part this is for my seconds. So I'm going to add to that 0.36. All right, now I'm going to multiply by 60 again. This time it's 60 seconds because I'm going to convert this fractional part into seconds. Now you use a calculator there. The 21 degrees stays, the 15 minutes stays. All right, and then this turns out to be 21.6 seconds. All right, and generally at that point, since we're done, um, I generally just have kids round this to the nearest whole second there. So then my final answer is 21 degrees, 15 minutes, 22 seconds. And notice I did take the plus signs out because when we write it in that form, there are no plus signs or anything. All right, so a nice little uh, two-step process 
for converting um, a degree that's written in decimals into your decimal minutes and seconds notation. Thanks for watching.